Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. If you were paying attention, you probably counted out 5 SSDs, these ones all being from Intel and also the same 240GB model from their 530 series of SSDs. Since we got a chance to run them all at the same time, we decided to do a RAID 0 testing with all of them in one field, just for the sake of science and our pioneering spirit. If you're wondering how to set up a RAID 0 array, you can check out our guide for that which we've recently done. As you may know, the 530 series is based on the Sandforce SF2281 controller in conjunction with the Intel's 20nm NAND flash. It delivers pretty decent performance, but for today's standard it's more on the average side. Still, despite of that, it offers good price, taking into consider the 5 year warranty. Hooking all 5 SSD to our Gigabyte X99 UD4 motherboard turned out to be a little bit messy as you can see it here, but still not a problem if you have newer based chipset or motherboard like we did, since they usually support up to 6 drives in RAID configurations. Before we took a look at the RAID 0 performance of all 5 drives, here you can see the single drive performance and benchmarking results of a 1.530 series model. As you can notice the drive struggles a bit in the field of writing decompressed data, so bear in mind that when you see RAID 0 performance of all 5 drives. However, dealing with uncompressed data writing and reading in 8 of disk benchmark software, we got very decent numbers throughout the whole range of sector sizes. Once we built the RAID 0 array, it took pretty longer than usual to format it and make a partition out of it, probably due to the fact that the RAID controller has to handle 5 drives at the same time. Once it was finished, we had a little bit about 1 terabyte of free and usable space. Finally, taking a look at the performance, you can notice that scaling with 5 drives is just something that doesn't deliver in a way we would maybe expect. Although the numbers are impressive when handling uncompressed files, 1.3GB of writing and 1.6GB of reading speeds is just not nearly close to what you'll get in theory out of RAID 0 array with 5 and even with 4 drives in terms of scaling. Of course, that's understandable considering we are using the onboard native chipset and SATA controller for that, and it's probably bottlenecking in this kind of RAID scenario, but truth to be told it should as it's just not meant to do that properly on this kind of level. A dedicated high-end RAID card would be a better but much expensive solution. All in all, making a RAID 0 array out of 5 drives is rather pointless in a classic desktop environment and it will certainly cost you a lot more than buying for example a PCI Express SSD which will definitely have better performance and reliability and of course much better overall value. If you're still planning to do a RAID 0 array using the chipset SATA and RAID controller, for optimal results and better value ratio it's better to stick with 2 or 3 as the total number of drives. Thank you once again guys for checking out this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions related to this topic and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.